guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel fashion wizardry here aka matilda and today's video is going to be super different from what i've been doing lately it's been a lot of diys on this channel and i just thought it was time to switch it up and bring something different to you guys so i've been getting a lot of questions asking how i put outfits together how i think of outfits where exactly i get my inspo so i just thought i'd show you guys my thought process when putting together an outfit maybe that will help you decide what you can do to put together your outfits i'm also so excited to announce that this video is in partnership with dress lily i have a discount code for you guys so in case you see anything you like in this video they'll all be linked down below obviously i will do that for you and i have a 20 percent off discount code for you guys just input this when you're checking out and you should be good to go with your 20 percent off now that's quite a deal if you ask me i think you should take it anyway having said that i really hope you enjoy this video there are some cute pieces in this video this top is from dress lily and i got it for about seven eight dollars so that is quite the price point they're super affordable which is something i really loved about them only downside i can think of at the moment with dress lily is the items did take forever to get to me so i placed my order early january so maybe 11th I think 11 and I got my last item about a week ago so we are in the second week of May so that is quite a while the Chinese holiday happened I had to reorder some stuff because some things went out of stock but yeah just bear that in mind if you're going to be ordering from them just order way in advance that way you have your outfits on time and you can actually look cute in them and you're not waiting forever anywho without any further ado I hope you enjoy this video it's kind of a different format at, so I hope you like it and I hopefully will see you in the next segment obviously it's gonna be me it's my vi <laughs> wow okay so for outfit number one I am starting with a very basic yellow this mustard yellow top it's so pretty it has this cutout detail right here that I'm so in love with and I'm wearing a pair of high-waisted skinny jeans I hate I hate low-waisted jeans I think they should be abolished and everyone who wears them should go to prison that's just my humble opinion how do you know what's good for me that's my opinion okay but as you can see there's not a lot going on here it's just a top this is a nice top and a pair of jeans but there's some things we can do to amp this outfit up and I'm going to show you exactly what that is that's that's why you're watching this video. I absolutely love this color combination, the yellow and the blue. I am here for it. And this bell sleeve detail is so cute. So this top is from Dress Lily. The pants are from Mr. Price, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a belt because I feel like it's just a bit too plain. And to stay in the same line with the yellow, I'm going to add a golden chain belt. I got this one from AliExpress. I will link it down below for you as well in case you want to get it because it's super cute. It's not actual gold, so I doubt this will last long, but it's super cute and it justifies the trend because chain belts are in in case you've been living under a rock. They're in, they're cute, we are here for them. Okay, so I've just added this golden belt, which I think adds a very fun element to this very basic outfit. And I just added some heels. There's some open-toed kind of boots from Sam Edelman. I love them, they're so comfortable. But as you can see, just adding a golden belt and some high heels to a very basic outfit elevates it to the next level. It looks cute and chic and very put together. Even if it's very basic, just accessorizing goes a long way in making your outfit pop. And I feel like the color yellow in this case just makes this outfit a whole lot better and a whole lot cuter. So I really, really love this color combination. I think it's super, super, duper, duper cute. You can wear this to a date, you can wear it to lunch, you can wear it to after work drinks with your colleagues and it's still quite appropriate in case you're going for a casual feel. So obviously this outfit on its own, pure fire, I love it. But in case it gets chilly and I can't just wear this, I'm going to throw on a puffer jacket. I feel like the contrasting element, wow, this is inside out, okay. I feel like the contrasting element of a puffer jacket 
with all these feminine tones happening. We have the gold belt, we have the high heels, and then you throw on a very contrasting texture like this puffer. I feel like it just adds that unexpected pop to this outfit and it goes from being just eh to oh, okay, you really know your fashion sense, ma'am. So yeah, I really think this contrasts beautifully and the yellow is still peeking through the blue, the golden belt, you can still see it, and the high heels. This is obviously not a very practical way to wear your jacket, but it looks cute. Snap a picture for Instagram. Everyone's gonna be asking you, who is your stylist, man? For my next outfit, it's going to be all about incorporating trends. This is faux leather. It feels quite light, so I don't think this is gonna last you forever, the same as real leather, but it's going to play their part, and when you're buying into a trend, you don't have to buy the most expensive thing. You can just invest in a faux, like, leather, faux fur, in case you want to incorporate a trend into your wardrobe, but don't really want to invest all the money, or for moral reasons, you can to a leather or fur. So I think this skirt is such a cute and fun way to play with trends and I'm also wearing a lace bodysuit. It's like full on sheer and I love wearing lingerie pieces as outerwear. I think it looks so sexy, so feminine and I am here for it. So what I'm going to do, I feel like my chest is very exposed. She's doing the most. So I'm going to tone her down with some jewelry. Although the skirt has some silver hardware, by the way, this is like a full on zipper. If you unzip it, you are ready for business. <laughs> I'm joking, but it's like a full-on zip that comes undone and that's cute I really think the zipper detail is so cute so pretty It's fashion and we are living for it So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some jewelry I'm going to add this layered necklaces. I got off Aliexpress They're so cute and they were about a dollar each so it's not that expensive but they look so cute. I'm not worried about mixing gold and the silver hardware on my skirt. I think metallics mix beautifully and if you can mix silver and gold, it's all up to you. It's just a matter of preference and I like this combination. So as you can see, the jewelry adds some some some, which we appreciate in this outfit. And now I'm also going to add some shoes. For shoes, I'm going to add this pointy toe heels from Steve Madden. Super uncomfortable but super sexy and that's all that matters at the end of the day. With the shoes on, I'm here for it, I love it, it's sexy, it's classy. We have a lot of leg and since the leg, wow, since the leg, since the shoe is pointed, it helps elongate my leg. Illusion of height is everything to me. I am quite short and I like giving the illusion that I am taller than I am. And a pointy toe or just wearing one solid color is something that helps elongate your legs. So we are here for it. And as you can see, this leather skirt is doing the most. I am here for it. With the outfit like this, I still feel like I need to cover up a bit because I'm showing leg, I'm showing chest. This is too much too fast, okay? We need to tone everything down, let her meet the parents, and then we can go full in. So I'm going to throw on a faux fur coat. And this faux fur coat is from Dress Lily as well. It is in the size medium. And I'm just going to throw it on my shoulders because Trendy is our middle name. And as you can see, it just adds that missing element to this outfit. It's no longer bam, like hello. It's like hello. You see the difference there? So this just adds that element of relaxed, sexy, not like full on, I'm trying too hard. It's like I am classy and elegant, but I can still bust it down, you know? For my last and final outfit, I'm going to advise you to play with print. And I have this beautiful printed wrap skirt. It's so pretty. It's a stretchy material and this is from Dress Lily. I'm also wearing a white t-shirt from Identity. And this skirt has an elastic waist, so it's quite stretchy. And the material is also quite stretchy. So it's easy to get into and feels quite nice, if I do say so myself. So with this outfit, I'm going to make it a bit more casual and playful, as opposed to making it very official. And the first thing I did was put on a t-shirt instead of a nice top or an official top. And as you can see, it's already looking quite casual, but there's some things we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some sneakers. One safe way to always play safely with print is to make sure you're incorporating a color 
that is already on the print so this skirt is black and white this is just a design it's not an actual wrap skirt it's a full wrap skirt so this is just for show and this is all stitched together but I think it's still quite cute so I added this black socks they have some white polka dots on them and they're a bit translucent because I think they add some playfulness to this outfit with them peeking through and then there's the sneakers so this has officially become a very casual outfit if I decided to go with heels then this outfit would take a completely different direction but that's not what you're going for right now so now we have the socks and the sneakers and I think this outfit is already quite playful but to make it even more playful I'm going to add a scarf in my hair I'm going to hold my hair up and add this particular scarf. It has this beautiful blue flowers on it. In case you want it for yourself, it's linked down below in the description bar. But I think adding a scarf to your hair is the ultimate accessory. It looks super cute and playful and very fun and chic. And it is such a mood, I promise you. So let's do it. And in case you have a wig like me, you just hide your wig with a scarf like the wig line and you will be good to go I promise you also for accessories since my ears are now being seen I'm going to add some gold hoop earrings they're quite tiny they're a sizable hoop they're not too big and I think they look so cute with your hair up and then just to add a bit more of accessories I'm going to add a golden necklace on top of my t-shirt that way we're full on sticking to the golden theme and I think that's quite cute so having done that, that's it for this outfit. It's quite playful and fun and I really love how this looks. And as you can see, having a print in the outfit makes it super fun and playful and you can go any direction you want with it. It's all a matter of what you want to wear and what your style is. But I feel like having a print and then sticking to more neutral colors just helps elevate that print to the next level and you look super chic and super cute. So guys, that is the end of our video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed putting outfits together with me. It was fun to take you through my thought process that goes on when I'm putting outfits together and I really hope this helped you in one way or another. Again, huge shout out to Dress Lily. Thank you so much for partnering with me to make this video. And remember, if you liked anything you saw in the video, everything is linked in the description bar down below and don't forget to use this code for 20% off which I think is quite a steal having said that it's bedtime for me it's quite late and I am exhausted but thank you so much for watching and thank you so 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 much for all your support you guys are amazing I am so grateful for each and every one of you you have no idea how much I love you guys and you guys are the real MVPs I'm not going to get too emotional but I am so 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 thankful for you guys Thank you for supporting me. It means the world to me. Having said that, I hope I catch you in my next upload. Until then, bye.